So today we are going to be talking about networking, business networking. And uh, I always try to emphasize that networking is about building relationships with people. And that's why I called my presentation the art of building long-lasting relationships. Uh, this is one guy, he's an American businessman, I really like him, I, I, uh, he's my inspiration basically, but I really love what he says about like building relationships, yeah? and what he says is saying hello doesn't have an ROI. ROI is return on investment. You know, I make so many mistakes you know, on a daily basis in terms of networking, so don't be, don't be worried about that at all. Yeah? And uh, yeah, so, so this is just the, the, just the question. So you can just like be very honest to yourself and say like, who, who, is, the, who is the type of person that I am? You know, and, and who is the type of person that I want to be, actually? And uh, I'm going to talk about the givers a little bit more and you will see how powerful like, giving is or can be. So it's really powerful to help other people because if those other people will also help other people, then you're just creating that, that, that great energy that you want to have. Now we are going to talk about some practical tips. Don't wait. If you want to build a network, you need to, you need to keep in mind that it takes time. As we mentioned, it takes time to really build that strong relationship. So start as soon as possible. For example, for me, if I want to find a job right now, and I know that I want to work in, in a particular industry or for some company, I should really, a few months or even, even one or two years in advance, I should really start working on this kind of network, really trying to meet as many people from the same industry, to learn from them, what is this industry about, to create a connection, and really see the opportunities through them. Be strategic, because the truth is, you cannot make friends or you cannot really make a long-lasting relationship with everybody on earth. It's just impossible because there's too many people and you have just so much time to spend on this and you also have to work, you have families, right? So really be strategic what kind of people you want to meet, who are the circles you want to enter in terms of professional networks. Serendipity, it means luck, basically. It's a different, different word for luck. Don't be that kind of person that just walks into the room and just like, it's too much strategic, you know, like just trying to find these people that you can really leverage or just let, you know, like treat everybody the same way because you never know who is that person, you know, across the room. You know? So for example, if I go to some conference, start a conference, I have a list of people that I want to meet in advance. You can easily find it on the, on the website of the conference because they usually, you know, the organizers they usually share this in advance because uh, it's much better for all the attendees to see who is going to be there and with whom they can connect. So you can very easily find this information. Uh, then you can go to LinkedIn, you can go to Twitter. In China, Twitter doesn't work, but you have Bingo and other, other platforms where people share stuff about themselves. You can learn about their interests. And then if you meet them at the conference, it's much easier for you to start a conversation because you already know something about them. For example, there is some interest that you both share, right? You have something in common, so you can start, you can, we call it icebreaker, right? The first sentence that you're gonna say, because you, yeah, some people are shy, let's say, to approach other people, because it's usually because they don't know what to say, right? And it, it happened to me many times in the past, you know? I wanted to meet that guy or that girl, but, I was shy or I didn't want to approach her or her uh, or him because I didn't know what to say at the beginning. And I was like afraid, you know, what's going what's gonna to happen when I say something wrong. But if you prepare, if you spend time on that, if you see the interest that they have, you share some interest, it's going to be much easier for you. Take notes. You can very easily write something down on a business card or in your, in your, in your smartphone, right? We all have Evernote or some note application. You can very easily write some notes so that you can relate to that conversation later on when you're going to be follow-upping with that person. Try to find somebody who is a connector, who is an influencer in that, in that group of people. And it, usually these people are the organizers uh, themselves of the, of the given conference. Right? Those are the people that put all the people together, invited the speakers, know everybody in the room, and stuff like that. So, so if you can figure out a way how you can get to these influencers, to these connectors, 
then you are guaranteed that you're going to meet much more, much more people. Arrive early. When it comes to uh, events, then uh, it's much easier to connect with these influencers, with these connectors, or even with other people, with speakers, if you arrive, arrive early when there is not too many people, or they are not as busy because you know the conference have, uh, hasn't started yet. Use the power of compliment, but really mean it. You know, uh, find something that you really enjoy and talk about those things that you really enjoy because it's going to come from your from your heart. Let's say if you want to if you want to call it like that. Finish on a high note. This means that uh, so many people, when they are meeting other people, new people, new friends, at the conferences usually again, uh, they spend so much time in that conversation. And it doesn't have to be that useful. It doesn't have to be that good because you might find yourself in an awkward situation because you don't know what to say, who is the person you know, who should end the conversation? You will not, you know, you will not know what question you should ask and stuff like that. So it's it's always better when you when you meet somebody somebody new, just you know, have some basic conversation about their interests because you're prepared to know who that person is. So just exchange a few sentences, have some short conversation, and then even end the conversation. Say, it was very nice to meet you. Uh, I know you must be very busy. I just uh, I just want to let you to meet other people. We can, we can get in touch later and stuff like that. It's always better than just to wait for that awkward moment that will come at the end of the day if you just spend too much time. Remember the names. That's the basic one, right? So, so many people, uh, so many people uh, get lost when they meet like 10, 15, 30 people, and it's okay, you know, it, it, it happens, even to me. And especially in China, because when somebody tells me Chinese name, you know, for me it's something completely new. And even though I study Chinese and I'm trying to get better, it's really, really hard, you know, like I still cannot memorize these things very well. So, so it's a challenge. I admit, and it's not, it doesn't mean that if you sometimes forget a name of somebody, okay, it happens, it's fine. But really try to uh, uh, use some techniques. You know, you can you can you can use a power of association. We can we can talk about it later, or even like repeat the name in the conversation a few times. Just meeting people is just the beginning. Building that relationship is the is the hardest, or is the is the more difficult part of that relationship building networking so really focus on follow-up and people on, on, on WeChat LinkedIn send them an email and try to try to keep in touch with them yeah deliver on your promises this is this is really this is really really important because imagine that we talk we talk about something and I promise you to send you links on the books or the articles, or I promise you to make an introduction for you. And I don't do that, for example, second day. I, you know, I, I just basically go on mute, I don't reply to your messages, to your emails. What are you gonna think of me, right? You don't have to promise anything, that's one thing. You know, if you if you are not comfortable with, with the or if you don't think you can really provide the value, you can really solve somebody's issue, don't promise, it's fine. You know, just just follow to them and, and, and be basically generic, you know, just send them send them a follow-up that is just saying hi, you know, glad to connect with you at the event and stuff like that. But if you promise, you really need to deliver, you know, and uh, try to do it as soon as possible. Because if you if you uh, postpone the action, then it's very high probability that you will forget about it, right? Do not burn bridges. This means that People usually set very high expectations. Oh, this person didn't reply to my email, or this person didn't add me on WeChat, and they just think, ah, oh, it's like, you know, it's not worth it to pursue this relationship. It's not about that. You, you don't never, you never know what's behind that, right? Like if that person saw your invitation, if that person, like some people get so many invitations, so they get lost. So if you don't provide them with a, with, with a lot of information that they can relate to, it's very hard to, to really connect, right? So, so think about this and don't be bridges because no today doesn't mean no tomorrow. So, so this is just the framework uh, how you can get organized.